our guest for the second and third hour is Dr. Walter Williams. We're doing our segment, The African Origins of Christianity. And uh, once again, he will be in the Detroit, uh, Michigan area, April 6th and April 7th at Nandy's Knowledge Cafe. But Professor Williams is the founder of the Ancient Egyptian Museum and Institute. He also founded the Society of New Scholars, also known as SUNS, S-U-N-S, the Society of New Scholars, which is now the Society, uh, which is now, which is now the Society for New Scholars. His mission is to bring forth the African Renaissance movement in America by resurrecting ancient Egypt. He is a historian, independent researcher, and author. He wrote the book, The Historical Origin of Christianity. The thesis of his book is, quote, there has never been a, oh, okay, before I get into this thesis, all right, now, usually, and I'm going to bring, uh, I'm going to bring him on in just a minute, so just stand by, uh, uh, Dr. Williams. Okay, now, before I get into controversial, uh, subject matter, I usually have, uh, people when I do presentations or do shows, because I know we have a lot of new listeners tonight and what have you. So I uh, usually have people put together their two index fingers and the two thumbs together to form a circle, and I usually say something like this. Uh, the space within inside this circle represents my realm of knowledge. Everything I think I know and about whatever I think I know is represented within the circumference of this circle. I must keep in mind that there are still things to know that exist outside the circumference of my own awareness. Okay, now the reason why I say that is because oftentimes when people hear something that contradicts what they have been taught or what they believe, they automatically reject it without doing any type of research to determine the validity of the new information that they are learning. And usually at the same time, they have not used the same type of scrutiny or litmus test to evaluate or reevaluate the information that they believe or have been taught. Okay, so that so that's why I that's why I say that some people's circumference of awareness is the size of a hula hoop. Some people's circumference of awareness is the size of an earring. Some people's circumference of awareness is the size of a dime. But we should all be striving to constantly expand the circumference of our awareness and learn what we don't know. All right, so. Uh, I guess I'll save that statement uh, for when we bring him on and really get into it. But Professor Williams um, is in demand to give lectures around the country. His lecture topics are ancient history, including ancient Egypt, the history of the three major Western religions, Christianity, Islam, and Judaism. And there's a reason why they, they are in that order. You're going to learn, out more, learn about that more when we get into this tonight. Dr. Williams also lectures on the historical origin of the related literature of the three major religions, such as the Old and New Testaments, Quran, Sephirah uh, Torah, and the Talmud, and many other subjects. He has been a guest on many talk radio shows that broadcast in the United States and abroad. His goal is to liberate Africans throughout the uh, diaspora. All right, so at this time, I'd like to welcome to the African History Network show uh, for the first time, but definitely not the last time, uh, Dr. Walter Williams. Maud Hotep, brother, how you doing tonight? May I Hotep, brother Michael? I'm doing fine. Yourself? Oh, I'm okay, brother. Excellent, excellent, brother. Just a little tired up, up late last night preparing for the show, reading <laughs> reading more of uh, the historical origin of Christianity. And when I talked to you, man, about an hour ago or so, I told you I'd just gotten off the uh, exercise bike, and I was reading this on the exercise bike also, brother. So, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> oh, man, it's, yeah, it's a fantastic book, fantastic book, brother. So um, I know you uh, just got back uh, from being on the road uh, yesterday, so definitely appreciate you uh, coming on the show and, and sharing this information with us, uh, and then also uh, talking about the upcoming uh, uh, two-day uh, lecture you're doing in uh, Detroit, April 6th and 7th also. Right. So uh, right. excellent to have you on the show. And as I told you before when we talked yesterday, you know, uh, I know uh, Brother Booker T. Coleman, also known as Kaba Hiawatha Kamene. Uh, he's one of my teachers. I've interviewed him on the show, uh, on our show probably about eight or nine times. And he's the one that told me to get this book because I've had some long conversations with him uh, off air. I've had some long conversations with him, and we've talked about a number of different topics dealing with history. And he told me, he said, you, he said, you get that book, 
by Dr. Walter Williams. He said that would explain a lot of your questions, brother. So he he was correct. <laughs> oh, he was wow. correct. That's great. Excellent, excellent. And then today I was watching um I was watching some clips of the lecture that you did at the African Village for Dr. Uh, Ray Hagens also. Oh wow. So I was watching you seen that, uh, that 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 video, huh? That DVD. Yeah, I was watching some of it. Yeah, okay. I was watching some of it. Yeah, yeah, I saw some clips right. of it on YouTube, man. So uh, I was watching some of that, brother. So hey, so excellent, excellent. Okay, and uh, all right. So when we, um, you know, when we deal with, uh, and you could tell, you could tell, I, uh, I'm a student of Dr. Uh, at least one, uh, Dr. Ray Higgins is at least one of my teachers by <laughs> dealing with the circumference of our awareness. So <laughs> I have to okay. prep people sometimes, brother, because I've been, uh, I started, you know, studying back in about ninety three, ninety four. And I started uh, teaching and writing about African history about 94, 95. So I realized how people will attack things that they don't understand without doing any research to determine the validity of it. So, well, so let, me, uh, let, me, let me give you a quote. And okay. Ironically, it's from a minister, uh, Al Sharpton. Mm -hmm. um, okay. He is... Uh, uh, he's making statements that, um, or a statement that a person who does not want to hear something new is a person that does not want to grow. I thought that's that true. was that's true. very, very uh, profound for him to say something like that. Exactly. And, and, and ironically, I, I listen to, you know, Reverend Al Sharpton's uh, radio show and I watch his uh, TV show, Politics Nation, because he has some good information on there. I disagree with some of the things he talks about. But one thing that I can say about him is he will listen to other points of view. He Correct. will listen Absolutely. to he, he he will he will do that. And uh I found out I found out the hard way that he's friends with Dr. Leonard Jeffries. Because okay. Dr. Dr. Jeffries is another one of my teachers and I was having a conversation with Dr. Jeffries one day and I was about to say something about Reverend Al Sharpton and Dr. Jeffries Cautioned me, he said. Well, he said, "Be careful what you say about Reverend Sharpton, because Reverend Sharpton's a friend of mine." I said, "Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> right. all right, Doctor Jack." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, well uh, when I hear things like uh, that quote I just uh, quoted from uh, Al Sharpton, Reverend Sharpton, that uh, it, it really hits home because it, it wakes up uh, your your your, your analog, analytical mind. It should wake up wake up your analytical mind because it's saying that a person who does not want to hear something new is a person who does not want to grow. That's very, right. very key. Like I also said, and tell people who are Christians, I, um, I have no right to come into your life uh, to tell you not to be a Christian. So if an individual is listening tonight uh, and they are Christians, I mean, you have a perfect right to do that. Now, because mm -hmm. I didn't tell you to be a Christian, so I have no right to tell you not to be one. So you, you have a perfect human uh, right as one of the uh, 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 parts of your humanity, free will. So you have the free will to uh, choose anything that you want to embrace and call it whatever you want to call it and, and, and go forward with it. Also, I would tell the Muslims, I, um, uh, I have no right to tell you not to be a Muslim if you're a Muslim, okay? This is not mm -hmm. my purpose of writing the book, The Historical Origin of, of uh, Islam, whereby I'm saying that there's never been a man that ever walked the earth in human form by the name of the Prophet Muhammad. Okay. Right. Now, if an individual right. read the book and uh, see how I lay out uh, my text inside of the book, then mm -hmm. you know if you have a, a problem with what I'm saying, then you can uh, whenever you see me uh, in person giving a lecture or where uh, if you hear me on radio, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, then you can call up and challenge me on it. But have something to put in this place. If you say, well, now, uh, Dr. Williams, you said so and so, so and so, so and so, and I think that's wrong. But here's what's right to be put in this place, fine, no problem. And the same thing with, uh, uh, with, with Christianity, you see. So if you find anything that's wrong in my historical origin of Christianity, because I'm saying there's never been a man that ever walked the earth in human form, been erased, Peter colored by the name of Jesus Christ. If you have a problem with that, this is okay. You, you have a perfect right to have that problem. But I want you to know that I'm not here to tell you not to be a Christian. You have that perfect right to do so. Also, I want to bring out uh, Brother Michael is this. I have okay. a $5,000 award to give to anybody of any race, creed, or color, including the Pope, that can repudiate me <laughs> when history and myself is saying that there has never been a man that walked earth in human form of any race, creed, or color by the name of Jesus Christ. And